Well, I found out that Chuck, that's that's that, that's my that's my husband. All right. Soon to be ex-husband's oh. name. Mm. Chuck. Mm. Okay, I should have known right there. My mama always yeah. said, never trust a man named Chuck. <laughs> you just can't do it. No. Okay. My mom said the same thing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yep, and my mother's mother said the same thing to her. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what I have discovered, okay, when I go to work, because uh, uh, Chuck, he's a truck driver. Can you <laughs> believe that? Chuck the truck driver. I should have known, Mr. Cole. I should have known. Hindsight's Excuse always 2020, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so. <laughs> this really hurts because we were so in love. Yeah. Did you know? We had all my relatives from West Virginia, Kentucky, Texas. We flew them all in. Our wedding cost two hundred and fifty thousand mm. dollars. I paid for everything, mm. Mr. Cole. I make good. I, I I make good money. Well, it sounds like you guys had a great time at the wedding. But it it, it was all for nothing, because I have discovered. You know what? I, I'm not someone who would would pry into my spouse's business mm. Nicole but his you know he was inside the shower and uh, uh, I saw that he had gotten a, a, a text message on his phone and I looked at it and I don't even want to tell you what it is that I found out but he has been having multiple affairs with all kinds of pussies all over the country he had pictures on there, and it was totally disgusting. And all of a sudden, the next day, these IRS letters start coming, Miss Nicole. So you can see, I, I, I'm just devastated right now. And what I want to know, is it possible, Miss Nicole, is it possible that, is there some way that the IRS would just lock Chuck up and throw away the key? I want to see him go to jail, Nicole. I want to see him hang. I want him to hang. Are you laughing, Miss Miss Cole? Are you laughing at me? This is not a funny matter. No, Are you laughing at me? No, ma'am. I will laughing at me. I will do everything I can to make sure that the IRS performs a public hanging of Chuck, but I do not think that they will at this point in time. Yeah, I, I want Miss Cole. I want. I, I don't want them to kill him. Oh, okay. I want him to suffer in okay, pain. Okay, okay. But I want him to be incarcerated, and they can, they can still hang him, but by his balls. And that would be that would be great for me. Okay, so what you're telling me, We Nicole, will work on that. that hold, <laughs> taxes first. Hold on, Mr. Cole. Let, let, let me get a Kleenex here, because I, I want to talk real business with you. Because I like you. I like you. <laughs> Have you ever been divorced, Mr. Cole? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so you, you understand. Oh, yes. Did, did any of those rat bastards, did any of those rat bastards that you, that you divorced, did, did any of them have a substantial tax debt like this? Yes. It's okay. It's okay. Honey. Yes. One it's, did. Yes. One did. It's so been you, a while. I had to think back. I had to think back. <laughs> wow. So you understand what I, you yes, experienced I understand. this. Yes. You have yes. experienced yes. this. Oh, I Lord, <laughs> thank Jesus, I got the right person. You don't, yes. you know, I called some other places. I called that, what was that place called? Uh, uh, they got the, they got the commercials. Mm. They got the commercials on the radio. And I think they even have them on TV. I called them and I got on the phone. Some young uh, uh, liberal California millennial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I just didn't feel comfortable. Good. He said that he had never been married, wasn't ever planned on getting married. So he didn't understand my situation. Nope, nope. And he ain't ever going to go through no nope, divorce. Nope, nope. I think he was one of them. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because I, 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 I love people. No matter what they are, Mr. Cole, what religion, what their, what their, what their gender is. Although, I, you know. I'm a church going woman, Mr. Cole. Yes, so, ma'am, Mr. Uh, I just, as I, am I. I go by what the what what the good Lord. <laughs> yep, gotta follow the good. What book. the good Lord says. Yep. <laughs> okay, but you know, if God says is if God lets people live free and do what they want to do, then they can live free and do what they want to do. Amen to that. It's not live and let live, right, girlfriend? <laughs> right, girlfriend? Okay. So to here's, a certain extent, yes. <laughs>
Here's what I want to know, Mr. Cole. Okay. So how how do I go through this? Because I'm I'm leaving him. I'm getting a divorce. How do I go through this and keep myself protected? But also, I do love him a lot, Mr. Cole. Mm. I, I, I want to help him take care of this tax debt because he has two beautiful children, mm. two beautiful children from his previous marriage. Okay. And I want to set up several accounts for them so that they'll be able to go to college and, 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 uh, cause they're both, they're just, just both, both just as smart as you will. So I do want to help him take care of this tax debt so that he'll be able to pay child support the rest of his life. If he's not going to hang by his balls and be in prison, then I want him to own up to his responsibility. Can you help me with that, Mr. Cole? Can you help me take care of his tax debt for him? Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, God bless you. I found <laughs> the right person. So, Mr. Cole, now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna pay for your services. Yes. So you tell me, you tell me what what does it take for us to get started, Mr. Cole? At this point, we're gonna go ahead and um, get a document out to you. Uh, he will need to sign it. It is a power of attorney document in order for us to access his account with the IRS. We're going to call them on his behalf, do a full financial background, a full tax investigation on him, find out what he owes, find out what years, find out when the debt expires, find out what he needs to file, find out if there are any issues that you don't know about, because it seems like there are some things you don't know about. Oh, good so Lord, we yeah. want to make sure <laughs> that we find out everything um, that's on record with the IRS. Once we have those results back in, we will um, get, get on another phone call, go over all the results, and then we'll uh, be able to get a, a clear view of what the next steps will be and how we can resolve this for you. Oh, good Lord. Bless you, Ms. Nicole. Yes, Bless you. Yes, and we will have that tax investigation done. As soon as you get the documents back, we can have it done same day. If it's a little late in the day, it'll be the next morning, but we'll get it done as soon as possible for you. Okay, so let me understand this correct, Ms. Nicole. Yes. So I, I, I want to do this right. Yes. I, I want to do this right with you. So, what you're saying is you're going to send, send out a power of attorney to Chuck. Yes. To Chuck. Yes. The man who's my future ex-husband to Chuck. You're yes. Send it to Chuck. Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to have to tell Chuck that I'm aware of his tag problem because he don't even know yet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can let him know that you're aware of it, but you also want to help him fix it. So, it's going to be a bad thing followed by a good thing. So, I'm he might need more... I want to help him hang by his balls, <laughs> Mr. Cole. But I understand what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so uh, so you're going to do this tax investigation. Yes. And you need the power of attorney. Yes. Do you need it from both me and Chuck, or do you just need it from Chuck? At this point, we can go ahead and get it from both of you just to make sure that there are no issues under your um, name and social as well, just so we can be 100% sure that, that we don't need to do anything under you. Right. But uh, that would just be kind of a safety precaution. We definitely want it under Chuck, but I would say both okay. for now. Okay, so you're going to send me this. this uh, now, what kind of power of attorney of, is, is this, Mr. Cole? This is, is this a power of attorney. So you're going to have power of attorney over over all my finances and Chuck's finances? No, ma'am. What ma kind of power of attorney is this, Mr. Cole? This is Nicole? an IRS document. It is found on the IRS website, and it specifically relates to the IRS and any IRS issues that you will be having. So it does not give me access to anything else besides your IRS account. Oh, okay, okay, and, and the same with the same with Chucky. Yes, same okay. with Chucky. Okay, great. So, uh, what information? What information do I need to give you, Miss Nicole, so that we can do this? I will this need your out? full names, address, birth dates, social security numbers. I can go ahead and send that to you um, to your email. We can do a simple e-signature so we can get the ball rolling on this, and then. Um, We'll be able to have an answer for you, like I said, by tomorrow. That that's fantastic, Mr. Cole. Them people over at Optimal Tax, <laughs> they want to do all. Wah, wah. They didn't tell me anything about how you explained it. Right. You you must have been doing this for a long time. Mr. Yes, ma'am. A long a time. A long time. I just feel, good Lord, I feel so, Nicole. I would love to go to church with you. Amen. Let's go. And pray. Amen. Okay. When can we do that? S Sunday. Do you, do you go to church? You go to church on Sunday? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, 
Okay, well, who goes to church on Sunday? <laughs> you, you know I'm Jewish, Mr. Cole. You know. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, that that's pretty much how that conversation might go. Yes. Of course, we uh, Nicole kind of over animated things with that, but that that's that's basically basically how that conversation would go. We've had hundreds of those yes. um, throughout throughout the course of uh, uh, working in tax resolution. So, um, and typically how that would get resolved is uh, once we got the power of attorney, as Nicole said, we do a full tax investigation. We pull the wage and income, okay? We uh, check uh, account transcripts for every year. And sometimes uh, the uh, taxpayer will have an EIN number, uh, a business, an LLC. We also wanna check that as well. So we'll get a power of attorney for uh, those uh, those businesses, or for those um, uh, corporations, uh, for for everyone, so we can do a thorough, complete check. And here's the best part: okay, we take the time to do the investigation. We don't charge the client. That is a no cost investigation. Okay, a no cost investigation. And the reason why we do that is because how can you quote? How can you give an accurate quote amount to a client without getting all the information to cover every single thing for the taxpayer? And yet, many of these tax resolution companies that are out there, especially the ones that you see advertising on television, uh, you're never talking to an actual tax professional when you call in. You're talking to some salesperson who was a barista at Starbucks two weeks ago. <laughs> and here's the worst part. Two weeks from the time you talk to them, they're going to be back working as a barista at Starbucks. Yes. Okay. So you always want to make sure you're actually talking to a licensed or certified tax professional because otherwise, you know, they have no idea what to ask you or why. Yes. Okay. And that's why uh, we tailored this uh, tax wars, uh, this channel for tax professionals because many tax professionals aren't aware of this. And uh, as we uh, go into uh, next week, we're going to be having some special interviews uh, with several tax professionals. One is the CFP, uh, Keith Connolly, and we also have tax attorney Randy Salter. Okay, uh, we'll let you know what those dates are over this weekend and uh, let, let you know we're going to be posting those. There's going to be some very exciting interviews. As a matter of fact, we're going to be having interviews with tax professionals all over the country. Uh, many that we have uh, relationships with and have worked with. So we may be talking to someone in your area. Yes. Okay. Any other thoughts on that, Nicole? No, it's going to be great. Make sure you tune in. Okay. Also, we want to uh, let people know if you are an EA, a tax professional, tax attorney, CPA, uh, at the end of this month in July, uh, we are going to be attending the AEA convention. and. In a, a, a well, Nicole, 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 <laughs> why don't you tell them the dates and everything um, and when that's going to be and the days that we're going to be attending. And if you're going to be there, uh, we would love to meet you. Yeah, so, it's the NAEA convention at the end of this month. What does the NAEA, NAEA stand for? What does that acronym stand for, Nicole? National Association of Enrolled Agents. Okay, fantastic. And if you're actually, if you are an enrolled agent, uh, you're probably aware of the convention. The IRS commissioner is going to be there. He's set to speak. And actually, Nicole has already paid the uh, the uh, nominal $25,000 fee to have a <laughs> selfie taken with him. So that's exciting. Okay? Yes. And, uh, um, uh, and the, so, dates are, sorry, the dates are the 24th to the 27th of July. Okay, so what is the 24th? Is that a, is that a Saturday or Friday? That's a Sunday, so they'll be starting some things in the evening, but most people will just be checking into the hotels. So not too much going on on Sunday. Most things will be happening on Monday. Right. And if we meet you there, Nicole would love to buy you a drink. <laughs> or two. I think most of the drinks are free as long as we're gambling, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to be gambling with my money. <laughs> But if you're a client, watch out. <laughs> we'll see what you say after I buy you some drinks. Warm <laughs> <laughs> me a drink and I'll tell you some lies. Okay, be sure and hit the like button and... Subscribe and share with all your friends, tax community, uh, tax pros, anyone you know who's interested in tax.
yes, we're really trying to uh, uh, rapidly increase our subscriber base. Also, we're going to be uh, in future videos, we'll be offering you our email so you can send us comments yes. directly as opposed to just putting uh, those nice, wonderful comments that you all do down in the comment section. Okay? So, uh, until then, we look forward to coming back with another episode yes. of Tax Wars. Yes. Have a good day.